my character, Colonel Joel, representing essentially this conditioned, um, brainwashed mind that was probably already damaged to begin with, with some sort of tendencies and whatnot. Um, certainly narcissistic and all that um, starts to match up pretty good with others that we can see in the, uh, the world arena. Um, and it's a package of throbbing gristle in the skull that is able to say, separate the mothers, separate the children, cage them. Um, do away with this. We must have this wall, no matter what. Um, but what I do, it's, it's, it's very relevant to, with what's going on with this film, which I said to you earlier, and, and it is such a rare thing, because it's only happened to me a few times. It flies out of your mouth after kind of rewinding and reliving and understanding now all the participants in this shadow play that is Waiting for the Barbarians. You start to uh, put it all together in your mind and this either happens or it doesn't and it's rarely happened to me but it did on this. I just said and felt we're doing something here. We're, but we're, but no, and yeah, we're doing something here but we're really doing something here. That's, 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 uh, it's very special and, and relevant. So even though it's a very intimate film, and it's, it's, but it's, it's, it's broad, it's wide, it's large, it's rich. I, I, I was amazed at where we, where we traveled in the scenes and, and how we all got there. <laughs>